Let's have a look at where the area, the formula for the area of a triangle comes from. We can do this by cutting out a triangle from a piece of paper and then making an exact copy of that. Um, so you've got two of the triangle. So then we take the copy and we fold it so we can find the height of the triangle and then we cut that copy into two pieces along the height. And what we can then do is rearrange those two pieces like this. And so they fit nicely together with the original triangle to make a rectangle. Now that rectangle is made up of two of the original triangle. So we know how to get the area of a rectangle. We need the length of the rectangle and the breadth of the rectangle and our area of that rectangle then will be just length multiplied by breadth. But because the triangle, there are two lots of the original triangle in the rectangle, the area of the triangle then is just going to be half the area of the rectangle. And so the area of the triangle will be half length times breadth. But obviously we want to talk about the area of the triangle in relation to the kind of triangle itself. So let's just have a look. That length of the rectangle is really just the base of the triangle. And the breadth of the rectangle is really just the height of the triangle. And so we get our formula for the area of a triangle which is half the base multiplied by the height 